Before we delve into the recent announcement, it's crucial to grasp the essence of particle accelerators. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, stands as the largest and most powerful particle accelerator ever constructed, a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets that symbolizes the pinnacle of human scientific achievement. It's so immensely powerful that it can recreate the very conditions present at the birth of the universe. But could this monumental machine, intended to unlock the cosmos's deepest mysteries, be harboring something far more ominous? Founded in 1954, CERN is among the world's most prestigious research institutions, bringing together 23 member states and thousands of brilliant minds. Its crown jewel, the LHC, forms just one piece of a sprawling network of accelerators and experiments. Picture a racetrack, not for cars or horses, but for subatomic particles racing at unfathomable speeds against the limits of time and space. Inside the LHC, protons are propelled to nearly the speed of light and smashed together, creating energies akin to those of the Big Bang. These collisions generate temperatures a million times hotter than the sun's core. Thousands of superconducting magnets guide the particles along their high-speed journey, while intricate cooling systems keep the environment colder than deep space. The LHC's beams collide at four points around the ring, corresponding to four. Enormous detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each detector has its own role, capturing fleeting glimpses of the microcosmic drama unfolding at these collision points. Scientists sift through the subatomic wreckage in search of phenomena like the elusive Higgs boson, the so-called God particle, and clues to the universe's very foundations. Each discovery uncovers answers, but also breeds new questions reminding us that the deeper we look, the more complex the universe appears. The LHC is more than a machine. It's a testament to human ingenuity, curiosity, and our tireless quest for knowledge. Yet with every frontier we cross, ethical and existential concerns loom larger. What if in our pursuit of understanding, we unleash forces beyond our control, it's within the revered halls of CERN, where human understanding is pushed to its very limits, that a chilling revelation recently emerged. Brian Cox, former CERN researcher and respected voice in particle physics, made an announcement that rippled through the scientific community and beyond. The primary goal of the LHC is to recreate a miniature Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right a scaled-down version of the colossal event that birthed the universe itself. Cox elaborated on the staggering implications. The LHC holds the potential to reveal secrets of the Higgs boson and unlock the mysteries of dark matter, the invisible substance that makes up much of the cosmos. Imagine possessing the raw power to recreate creation itself, a thrilling but perilous prospect. Inside the LHC, the mini Big Bang isn't just theoretical, it's reality. The searing temperatures, the titanic pressures, the staggering energies, all mirror the moments after the universe's birth. Standing beside, such power is like gazing into the very moment existence began, but such power demands responsibility. What happens if something goes terribly wrong? A haunting reminder of particle physics dangers dates back to 1978, when Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky suffered a freak accident. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Protvino, Russia, a malfunction sent a proton beam directly through his head. The beam entered the back of his skull and exited through his nose, delivering an amount of energy that defies imagination. Bugorsky reported seeing a flash brighter than a thousand suns, yet felt no pain. Miraculously, he survived. Though he suffered hearing loss, partial facial paralysis, and massive internal damage. Amazingly, his intellect remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. His story remains a chilling testament to the sheer destructive potential lurking within particle accelerators. The dangers of particle accelerators like the LHC are far from fictional. 
Concerns about unexpected reactions, even the manipulation of space-time itself, have been voiced within the scientific community. Perhaps the most alarming possibility? The creation of a miniature black hole. Black holes, cosmic vacuums where gravity becomes so intense that not even light escapes, are some of the universe's most terrifying mysteries. The idea that the LHC could spawn even a microscopic black hole has ignited fear and fascination alike. Could such a black hole grow, ultimately consuming the Earth from within? Scientists at CERN have repeatedly assured the public that any black holes created would evaporate instantly. Nonetheless, the mere notion stirs debate and awe, a reminder of the immense power we now wield. Technically, creating a black hole relies on the staggering energy achieved when protons collide at near light speed, warping space-time itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched taut, and then a heavy object dropped onto it. The fabric sags, bending and curving. If the weight is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that everything nearby might be drawn into it. This is a simple metaphor for what might happen in the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, where the bizarre and beautiful laws of quantum physics govern our universe. Some scientists theorize that hidden dimensions could lie within our reality, and, if these dimensions exist, the LHC's collisions could potentially tap into them, creating a gravitational funnel that could form a microscopic black hole. This mysterious particle dance has captured the attention of renowned scientists, including the late Stephen Hawking. In his writings, Hawking warned of the possibility that the Higgs boson might become unstable at high energy levels. Such instability, he suggested, could lead to a catastrophic vacuum decay, an event capable of destroying not only Earth, but the entire universe. Sir Martin Rees, the distinguished British cosmologist and astrophysicist, also voiced concerns about CERN's experiments in his book On the Future Prospects for Humanity. He examined the risks associated with particle accelerators, highlighting the potential for disaster not as a far-off, improbable event, but as something that could happen through an unfortunate experiment. According to Rees, such an event could trigger a vacuum instability that could lead to a phase transition, unraveling the very fabric of space-time and causing a cosmic catastrophe that could engulf the universe. Reese went on to assign a probability to this apocalyptic outcome. While he acknowledged the risk was low, he argued that even a slim chance warranted serious reflection. The stakes, in his view, were astronomical, and the margin for error was perilously small. The scientists at CERN, however, have conducted calculations, simulations, and exhaustive reviews to assert that the LHC's operations are safe. Brian Cox, for one, has acknowledged the concerns surrounding the LHC, but reassured the public that rigorous safety protocols are in place. He emphasized that the energies involved in the collider's experiments are well within the range that the Earth naturally experiences, and the chances of creating a stable black hole are virtually non-existent. Even if such a black hole were to form, Cox explained, it would be so small and unstable that it would quickly evaporate due to Hawking radiation, an event predicted by Hawking himself. It would be a brief, fleeting cosmic spectacle. And then, it would vanish. Some individuals have even speculated that the LHC might open a portal to another universe or dimension. While this idea has largely been dismissed by scientists, it continues to capture the imagination of many. It has given rise to fears, fascination, and even folklore leading to sensationalized media portrayals of potentially opening a gateway to hell. But where did this notion come from, and how does it relate to scientific exploration? The idea of parallel dimensions is not new to physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, proposes that there could be more than the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra dimensions may be compactified or hidden from view, but under extreme conditions they could theoretically be revealed. The LHC in this context could be seen as a cosmic key, 
unlocking doors that have remained sealed since the BIID beginning of time. If protons collide at energies previously unattainable on Earth, they could, in theory, create ripples or tears in the fabric of space-time, possibly opening temporary portals to these hidden realms. Although much of this remains speculative, the possibility is nonetheless compelling. The central question, however, is one of responsibility. Should we be manipulating forces that could fundamentally alter the very fabric of reality itself? With the LHC's ability to probe the deepest corners of existence, should we be concerned about what we might uncover? As Brian Cox and other scientists continue to delve into the universe's mysteries, one thing is clear. The pursuit of knowledge comes with its risks. Unveiling the unknown, especially at the LHC, is a journey fraught with both visible and invisible dangers. The story of the LHC is more than just a tale of cutting-edge science. It represents humanity's insatiable thirst for understanding. Every experiment and discovery brings us closer to revealing the universe's complexities. But the crucial question remains. When we unlock the deepest secrets of the cosmos, are we prepared for the consequences? Or will we, like Anatoly Borsky, find ourselves at the edge of the unknown, gazing into a universe we may not fully understand or control? The answer lies in the future, one filled with both potential and peril. As we stand on the precipice of discovery, we must ask ourselves, are we truly ready to face what we might unleash?